So here is my latest quad. It started off as a 450 size quad from Hobby King, just one of those really cheap ones. I think they're like fifteen dollars. Um, but the arms kept breaking, um, and I ended up um, just gluing the arms with paddle pop sticks and hot glue, um, and that was all right. But I decided, seeing as I got a 3D printer, that I'd try and print some new arms. So these were drawn up with SketchUp, and then printed out with PLA and they're actually honeycomb inside but they're um, really strong, surprisingly strong haven't broken them yet but I haven't really crashed it too hard yet um, this here is not the original plate obviously this is the one that was the original I was going to use the original but the holes um, from the, the bottom and the top they're offset so but I wanted to just have a bolt going straight through so cut a new plate which actually works pretty well because I got this new board from Hobby King. It's the KK2, but it's the little tiny one. It's the same size as the Nuzza. Um, and that's actually a really good board. Out of the box, I have not tuned it, and it flies really well, and I will show you some footage of that. So, um, also, it's a fair bit smaller. It's actually about... 350 yeah about, about 350 350 size quad um, and I don't know if that contributes to it flying better because um, I haven't used the new KK on the original 450 so I'm not sure but these are 8 inch props and yeah it's really stable the battery that I'm using in this video is 2650 milliamp hour 3 cell um, I've also got a 4000 milliamp hour 3 cell. They both fly really nicely. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the smaller ones are going to be a little bit quicker. The motors I'm using are 1450 RPM per volt. They're from Hobby King. They're about $9. Um, the size is 2822. Um, plus side is they're actually really durable. Um, I've crashed these motors a lot and they're still holding up fine. Obviously the price of the plus. Uh, the downside is that the prop adapter solution is not very good. It's really hard to get it balanced and if you don't use Loctite and uh, lock nuts then they will fly off. I've crashed quite a few times because the props have flown off or the prop adapters have flown off. 